Konnichiwa, mi namo. And here I am with the next video. Oh, hey everyone. It's me, Edo4, back with another video. And as you can see, I'm back home again for spring break. So today's topic is going to be about Japan once again, about the short-lived group called Folder and Folder 5. Like the Meanie Money video I did last month, this will be about the complete story from all the members from before, during, and after Folder, to the best of my knowledge. Also, once again, I will speak on how they have influenced me. So let's get started. The story begins in Okinawa, Japan, where all seven members were born and raised. It was also the kind of place in Japan where this was the sequel of Karate Kid took place, but originally it was filmed in Hawaii, but that is another story. The leader of Folder is named Daichi Mura, which in English is named Earth. He was born on August 24th of 1987, the first female member of the group, M5, was named Natsu Aka, born in the 11th of August, 1984. Arisa Nakama was born on August the 24th of 1984. Akina Misato, born in 1985, June the 19th. Hikari Mishumata, umareta wa, September the 30th of 1985. Moe. Ishihara, the last female member, was born on May the 23rd of 1986. And Saigoni Jo Nakama, the second and last male member of the group, was born in 1986, September the 4th. They all met in Okinawa Actor School, and there was a show that also covered them and other dancers that were in the school called Boom Boom, or known as Boom Boom Tokyo Live. The group they were in before Folder was called BB Waves until one day of 97, a mysterious man came in and saw Daichi's talent. And this is where we're going to reach our second chapter. Itemiyo! To start off, Makino Miyasuyuki is the principal of Okinawa Actor School and also responsible of the success of not only Folder but also groups and solo artists that came before and after Folder. The mysterious man that came to the school that day is named Minoa Kimotorita. He is a composer, songwriter, and orchestra since 1983 and still going. The first word he said to Daichi was, he sounded like a little Michael Jackson. And on that day forward, he was chosen along with Akina, Arisa, Hikari, Joe, Natsu, and Mo to be in a new group produced by Avix and Rising Production. The group name was chosen by an item from Windows 95 and Macintosh. Simple, but very impressive. The group's first single that came out is called Parachuta, released on August the 1st of 1997 on Avix Tune Records. Their first CD sold 100,000 copies and was a soundtrack on a kid's show called Peakikes, or also known as Ponky Kids, along with another collab with the Avix Various Artists album called Welfare J-Pop Night Presents Dance With You, with their own song called Kojin Jingyo, which is a private class in English. Their second and last single of that year was called Now and Forever. It was released on the 17th of December. This song was chosen to be in a movie sequel called Matra because one of the members named Hikari was in the movie. This movie goes by two titles such as The Rebirth of Matra and Matra 2, The Battle of the Under Deep Sea. The reason why this movie had particularly two titles 
is because it also had an American release that was released three years after the movie came out. The original movie in Japan was released four days before Folder's second single was in store, just in time for the best winter present ever. Now, we're going to move on to the next year of Folder's success. Hajime Masho? Now we're going to begin the new year of 1998 of Folder releasing their third single called Fire Fire on March 18th. The song helped promote the Ito Ham poet bits and the second song off of the single called Sparkle promoted the Fruits Gum from Lotte. Their fourth single of that year is called Jaka Jaka Jankin Pong released on September the 2nd which is translated as rock, paper, scissors, pop. And this was my first and favorite songs of all time, which will be explained later. Also, this is the song that was used for the soundtrack of Pete Kikes again, especially since that's where the inspiration of the song came from. Before we end the year of 98, there were two more projects that was released during that time. Remixes and The Earth. Both of these albums were released on November of 98. The Remixes was released on the 21st of November and the first album was released five days afterwards. Now we're going to move on to the last years of Folder along with the last years of the 90s as well. Get ready for the 9-9 and the 2000s. Their fifth single that came out from the same amount of time that their third single was released is called Glory Glory on the 1st of March in 1999, which has also made it into the next project that was made earlier for a television show called The Little Giant Micro Man. Shisana Kyoji Micro Man first episode came out of January the 4th. They have 52 episodes. A movie translated as Microman vs. Stronger Warrior Gorgon, released on July the 31st. Their last episode was on December the 27th. And this again leads to folder supplying for the soundtrack. Let's talk about what the songs were, shall we? The soundtrack for the show was released on May the 19th, along with the promotion video called per Perfect World. And the soundtrack was called Big Heart Microman Theme, released from Media Factory Records. Their sixth single was a cover of Jackson 5 called I Want You Back, released five days before Michael Jackson's 40th birthday. This has an English and Japanese version along with ABC. This song was not only just chosen for the Microman soundtrack, but it also became a hit number three on the Ocon charts. The last thing to cover before the new millennium is Folder's seventh and last single ever called Everlasting Love on December the 15th of 1999. This was the first time that Daichi did not do a song with the group, but it wouldn't be his last time. There was an English version along with this song with Another cover from the stylistics called You Make Me Feel Brand New that featured Akina and another song called Reality. Ima is now where the chapter of Folder ends and Folder 5 story begins. Before we dive into Folder 5, I got to talk about the reason why they have disbanded and took a hiatus in the first place. By the end of 1999, when Daichi started to record his vocals, his voice did not sound the same as it did three years back. And the reasoning is puberty has finally caught on to him. So let's backtrack this a little more. In the summer of 1997, 
Daichi was nine turning 10 years old. So by the fall of 1999, when he was turning from 11 to 12 years old, his kid voice started to disappear. And that's why Folder had to end. Their last projects that they did together was the opening for a television show called Sangumi and their second to last album called Seventh Soul that came out on the 23rd of March. During the April of 2000 was the last time they got to perform together in the HMV for their graduation for Joe and Daichi that is. But the five girls in the group formed Folder 5 with their debut single called Supergirl. Now here is where I'm going to briefly talk about the discography of Folder 5 before we get into the next chapter. Let's get started. Supergirl was released on May the 10th of 2000. It's a Japanese cover from the short-lived British group that is called Supergirl and it made it to the 28th on the Okan charts. Their second single is another cover from a Eurobeat artist named Rose that was called A Song For You. This one is called Amazing Love, released on the 23rd of August, which was two days after Arissa's birthday, but a day before Daichi's birthday that made it into the 17th place on the chart. Their third single, Believe, was released on November 29th of 2000 and was also used for the One Piece theme song, which is a cover from Lolita's Baby One, Baby Two, Stay, was published by March 14th of 2001. And this song was used for the long running anime One Piece second movie, translated as The Clockwork Island Adventure, which this movie was released on March the 3rd that same year, and the PS2 game called Monsters Farm. So I, now we can see how this has been placed on number 12 on the charts. And this was my favorite Folder 5 song ever, Final Fun Boy, released on June the 13th, and this has made it to the 14th place on the chart. Their first album they released in that same year, Hyper Group 1, released on July the 25th, and made it number 5 on the charts. Go Ahead, released on 14th of November. This song was also used for the C the commercials of Family Mart, which is a very popular convenience store. And it made it in the same number as their last single, Magical Eyes. This was released on March the 6th of 2002 and made it into the soundtrack of the Xbox game called Sneakers. And last single of that time was called my Miracle, released on 29th of May. Their last album was released around the same year called Five Girls on the 17th of July and made it into the sixth place of the charts. They leave off with trading cards, live event, and greatest hits album called Best Collection Album that was released 10 years after the 21st of March, meaning 10 years after 2002 of 2012. Their soundtrack goes to One Piece, Eurobeat, and a collab with other artists called Earth Harmony, Books and Calendars. Their DVD and CD collaboration with Folder called Folder Plus Folder 5 Complete Box released on the 25th of March in 2003. It has all the singles and albums from Folder and Folder 5. Speaking of Folder, whatever happened to Daichi, Joe, and Folder 5 during that time? Well, this is where we're going to move on to Chapter 6. During this time period before 2004 and 4 or 5, Daichi went back to school and studied more about music, which would lead on to his first but not last single, Keep It Going On. But before we get to that, we gotta check. Whatever happened to Folder 5 and Joe? Let's start with Akina. 
Akina released three singles from 2002 to 2004, which are Touch Me, One Wish, and Best of Love, and still makes songs, television, and movie appearance here on out. Arissa has released one album that is translated as Follow Arissa that was released on the 11th of January 2006. Mo and Hikari still continue acting after Folder 5, and Joe has gone back to school, play, and became a construction worker. Unfortunately, I couldn't find what happened to Natsu, but my guess is going to be that after Folder 5, she went back to school and lived a normal life. Now lastly, it's Daichi's turn. Daichi's debut single, Keep It Going On, was released on the 30th of March in 2005 on AVEX tracks. The video and song was recorded before 2005. The music video was filmed in Los Angeles on the 9th of December 2004. The dancers used in this music video are also famous backup dancers for Beyonce and Usher and they are called the Rocksteady Crew. This made it on to number 14 on the charts for his first comeback after five years out of the music business. Now for this, I cannot go over all his singles and album because this is strictly about Folder Plus 5, and there's so many to go over too. But as a huge favor for you all, I will go over my favorite ones. So let's get started. My second favorite song during this time was fourth single called No Limit featuring Rhyme Master that was released on July the 11th in 2006 that also makes it in time for his first album called D Rocks With You on the 25th of January. My third favorite song was his seventh single called Your Love featuring Creva released on January 11th, 2009 that also makes it towards the second album called Who's the Man, released on September 16th of the same year. Along with its eighth single on the same album called Delete My Memories, released on May the 20th. This duet song with Boa called Possibility was on Boa's 14th album in international order called Identity. The single was released on 19th of February in 2010, and the album was released 11 days before the single was released. Next is his 10th single called Lullaby, released on the 15th of December in 2010. That is also for his third album called DM, released the next year of November 30th, and made it to number 7 on the charts. Elevator and Go For It goes to his fourth album called The Entertainer, released on to 2013, November the 20th. And it made it to fifth place on the chart. Elevator was a di digital download released on the 12th of August of 2012. And his 14th single, Go For It, was released on the 23rd of July in 2013. His 17th single, Unlocked, was released on February the 25th of 2015 to his fifth album, Fever, that made it to number three on the charts. Now this is two other ones that were my favorite from his sixth album, Hit, released on the 22nd of March, 2017, which is his 19th single, Cry and Fight, released on the 30th of March, 2016, and Excite, his 21st single released on the start of 2017 in the 18th of January. This song made it to platinum and number one on the charts. Next is Blizzard, released on the 19th of December in 2018. This was not only chosen for the soundtrack of Dragon Ball Super Broly, which is why I'm wearing this shirt for a celebration of not only Dragon Ball, but also Folder at the same time. This has also made it to gold, fourth, and second place on the chart. Now, lastly, my favorite song is his recent project, which is Backwards, 
and About You, which will be released very soon this month of the 21st of April. Folder overall has sold 600,000 copies. Without them, we could could not have Folder 5, Daichi, Enjo, and many other Okinawan artists that came up after Folder. Now, even though this is the final chapter of Folder and 5, the one thing that is left now is how did they influence me? What I really liked about Folder besides their personalities is their costume. For every song that they perform is different than the last one and it fits with the concepts of and lyrics of what they're talking about. Here's the examples I'm talking about. Parashuta, Business Casual, Now and Forever, Kids Wearing Future and Winter Clothes, Fire Fire, Kids Birthday Party Costume, Jaka Jaka Jankin Pong, Casual Kid Clothes When They Go Outside to Go Play With Their Friends, Glory Glory, School Field Trip, And I Want You Back, Look Exactly Like Jackson 5, in urban 90 hip hop clothes. This is what I mean. Even when they disbanded, they still kept in contact. Hikari sung Now and Forever with Daichi, as well as singing the cover of New York with Daichi from, originally from Frank Sinatra in the year of 2017. And last year is when all the members of Folder have autographs signed for Daichi from the Folder Remix vinyl records. Now I'm going to get into how I first found and listened to them in Japanese. Ganbarimas, hajime masho. Folder hajimete misketa toki. Nisen junen o nisen junen no natsu desta. Watashi wa jusan sai desta. DJ Waffles homepage mite miyo. Minimoni ohanashi shite moto no onaji desu. Takawa no fui gako no j pop ino riku o misketa imashita. Kare wa soko ni ishimashita. Kyoko shin ka desu. Watashi no wa music video download da. Toko ni Watashi no wa ego itaito ni. I never heard of a group called Folder before, but I want to know. Folder to you group wa hajimete shite imashita. Demo shitai no desu. Saisho ni watashi wa sono yuta daiki desu. Hayasugi wika dekimashita ka. Kazu no kono uta desu. Shikashi, ABS video maker wo ichiro shi shio ishimashita. Tempa hachiju san presento sagemasu. Slowing it down to 80%. Yo yo oto ga suru. Ima ka susure Original. Jaka 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 jan kenpon. Itsu made tatemo ai kuru sho o o. Yukuri Jaka 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 Jan Kempo Itsu Made Tatemo Ai Kuru Sho O O Kore Wa Watashi Ga Saisho Ni Slow Down Lo Shite Reige Doyu Toki Desu Demo Sore Ga Saisho No Arimasen Fire Fire So Shite Parashuta Speed Mo Oshi Masta Nisen Juinichi Koto Kawa no Koto Shiri Masta Soya wa YouTube channel Dishita Folder Taksan video ga Fukumu Daichi Thumbnail Koko desu Channel ga Mo Sozanai Shinai Tame Folder ga Shio ni debut shitai toki desu. Watashi wa umareta wa ne. Tokoshio ni moni musume no 
ブラックビスケツ、日本シティココデスイベントのも、アムロナミエ、そしてマッチフォンスーパーマンキーズ、ありがとうございました。それがなければ、私たちがは持っていけないでしょう。スピード、ボーダー、ダパンプ、ナトナトです。彼女の息子は生命児。これが私の英語メッセージ。どうぞ。Thanks for your gift, Aunt Nami a a m a r このビエを落としいだ。こ,このふむ、今日がどういう今日部は川完成してから21年波みでします。では、8では、八号一番目のフォーダーひとます。英語で、I will now declare August the first folder day. お願い、ハッシュタグをおいしてください。And send in the W's if you enjoyed this video. Ima ego de hanashimasu. My favorite member overall from Folder is Joe Nakama. Even though I love everyone equally, Joe to me was the mysterious one, especially since he didn't talk a lot. And possibly wasn't the popular member of the group, but he was popular to me. When he talked, I cheer with glee. My favorite moment of him with Folder is when they were on a show called Music Park and they played Rock, Paper, Scissors or Jaka Jaka Jankin Pong for the Baby G Watch and the Sega Saturn console with a few games. Daichi won the Baby G Watch. And Joe won the Sega Saturn. Hikari wasn't present in that moment because I believe during that moment she had to be in the studio for the filming of Mothra 2, the movie. But if that was the wrong information, please let me know in the comment. I believe also on that note, they added Joe into the group since he has been friends with them since the BB Waves era, and they didn't want to leave Joe behind. Especially, I also trust that on and off camera, they are good friends. Even though Daichi didn't have the Michael Jackson voice, when he debuted in 2005, he had a good Neo voice and overall his own voice. While everyone is, do is doing very successfully at the same time. And now we're going to move on to the shout outs. The shout outs for this special g o e s to from Japan, Shiguma, Young Turks Club Forever, CPT Nameless, The Reality of Japan, Bonnie Pink, K, e Joe Fanpage from Twitter, Miroru Kamarita Daichi, Akina. Hikari, Mo, and most importantly, the music that was producing all of them, Avix Tracks. Well, before I go, I have another sneak peek of the next video I'm going to be coming out with real soon next week. So here is the sneak peek, and it's going to be、uh, an inspiration story about. These guys. So here we go. Whoa. Oh. Wow. Um. Okay. Well, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. My d a n n e t And I'll make sure to see you all again.
And today's cop, nah. <laughs> yeah? Okay, I'll get it in a sec. <laughs> Yoyo Otoka Suru Ima Kawa Shitimasta. Oh, Ima Kawa Shireshimasta. Their fourth single was called Final Phone. Oh, <laughs> Let's talk about what the songs are. Let's talk about what the songs. Mm. This came out. Um, this Hikari song "Now and Forever" with Daichi, as well as the cover of "New York" for Frank from Frank Sinatra in the year of 2018. <laughs> そこに私に英語、ときょ、ときょ、ときしのからです。私、私のはミュージックビデオダウンロード、ダウンロード。ときょ、ときしん、which also made, which also was a way, which release. Now here is where I'm gonna briefly talk about the discography of Folder. F mm. Ah! Oh God! Came out at the wrong time. Hey. Mm. Now, Arisa has released one album that was called that was called that way. Boy Ishihara, the last female member, was born on May the 23rd from the and still makes songs, television, and movie appearance. His 11 to 12 year old self voice, his by the fall of 1999, his 11 to 12 year old. Oh wait. By the fall of 90歳。彼女息子は鬼少女少女。これは私英語。彼女彼女の息子は。これ。In and the dancers that you see in the music videos are famous dancers for Beyonce and Usher called the Rocksteady Crew. Boy. Yeah. Here is where I'm going to briefly talk about the song. Ah! Inside with me, Joe Nakama, born on 1987. Mm. Oi! The dancers that you see in this music video are also famous backup dancers for all of them. <laughs> Ah, uh, no. This <laughs> is quarter. Uh oh. The remix. Next is his duet song with Boa called Possibility that was on 13th, that was on Boa's 13th album in the in the correct order in the opening along. So now we're going to move on with the last years of both. In sight of me, Joe Nakama, the other world. 
that was on Boa's 13th album in the order chronologically of Japan and oh wait a minute oh man okay I realized I screwed up that's okay. the original movie in Japan was released four days before four days before uh, their second and last their second and last single of that year was called Now I'm a Boy. Their second and last Oh, great. To start off, Makino Misuta. And also responsible for the sex of. Watashi wa mote inai kushiku desu to da. Watashi wa moto. And secondly, Joe Nakama, the second male, second and only male member of the group, born. Wait, 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 wait. The group. Da. Ah. The group that they were in before Folder was called BB Waves until the day of 90... Hmm. 